five quadratics part B, which is solve quadratic equations over the set of complex numbers using an appropriate choice strategy. Uh, there are many different strategies to use uh, for this. For solving quadratic equations, we're going to use the quadratic formula. Let's jump in. Uh, so 5B again, solve the quadratic equation over the set of complex numbers using an appropriate strategy. The appropriate strategy we're going to use is we're going to use the quadratic formula. And this is used to solve quadratic equations. So our quadratic equations are always have to be in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. You always have to have the equation equals zero. The quadratic formula, so to find what x equals in the equation, you have to find what the opposite of b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4 times a times c. All of it has to be divided by 2a. So let's jump into example 1. So first thing I notice, I have to have this quadratic equation set equal to 0. So first thing, set equal to 0. Get your like terms together. So we have 6a squared, subtract 8a, and add 2, set equal to 0. Now I can figure out what my a, b, and c are. a is always in front of the x squared, in this case the a squared, so 6. That's your a. Your b is always with the term no exponent. So that's negative 8. And your c is always, has no x on it, so 2. A, B, and C are always numbers. A, B, and C are always numbers. Remember that. Okay, and then we need to, after this, we need to put A, B, and C into the quadratic formula. So we have X equals the opposite of B. The opposite of B is B is negative 8, so the opposite is positive 8. Plus or minus square root negative 8 squared. Whenever I substitute in, put it in parentheses. Minus 4 times A times C. All of this is over 2 times a. When I enter this into the calculator, I put what's underneath the square root. I put this into the calculator exactly as it is. Whatever's underneath the square root, and it comes up to 16. So the next step is 8 plus or minus square root of 16 divided by 2 times 6 is 12. Let's keep simplifying this. We got square root of 16. It's 4. So we have 8 plus 4. This is where I'm going to break it up into two problems. So we have plus and a minus here, positive and negative. We have to break it up into two different problems. I have 8 plus 4 divided by 12. And 8 plus 4 is 12, divided by 12 is 1. One of my solutions is 1. And then break it up into the other. I made subtract, subtraction here. Subtracting 4 divided by 12. It subtract 4 is 4 divided by 12. Reduce that down to 1 third. I have two solutions. We knew that from last unit, which underneath the radical. Positive 16, so we knew there were two real solutions, and the two real solutions are one and one third. Always, always, always remember to simplify the radical. In this case, the square root of 16, we had to simplify it. Example two. All right, same thing. First, we have to, so we're solving the quadratic equation to solve for x. We have to get all the variables on one side. I like to keep my a, a positive. 3 is positive here, so I'm going to move both the subtract 3x and subtract 15. There are no like terms on the left side, so it's going to be 3x squared minus 3x minus 15. That's going to equal 0. Figure out your a, b, and c once you have the equation set equal to 0. So I have my quadratic equation. Now let's, there's your a, 3, b, negative 3, C, negative 15. A, B, and C are always numbers. 
How we look at the quadratic equation. X equals the opposite of B. B again is here is negative 3, so it's going to be a positive 3. Plus or minus the square root. Negative 3 squared minus 4 times A times C. All, everything is going to be divided by 2 times A. This is our calculator. So put it in the calculator underneath the square root. Underneath the square root, you're going to put it into the calculator. So I put everything underneath the square root into the calculator exactly how I see it. And that's going to be a 189. So I'm just going to rewrite this. Get 189 underneath the square root. So 3 plus or minus the square root of 189. Divided by 2 times 3 is 6. Now we need to simplify what's underneath this radical. Simplify that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it off to the side, 189. And break that down into, break it down with using trees. So we have 189 is 3 times 63. 3 is the prime number, 63 is not. 7 times 9. 7th prime number, 9 is 3 times 3. So when I use these from our previous unit, to simplify the square root of 189, that's going to be a pair of threes because it's a square root. A pair of threes comes out, and underneath the radical, I have 3 times 7 here. 3 times 7, so that's going to be 3 square root of 21. So underneath the radical, I'm going to replace it with 3 square root of 21. So x equals 3 plus or minus where the square root was. I'm going to replace it with 3 square root of 21 divided by 6. Now we should also simplify. So we have 3, 3, and 6. All of those terms, there are three terms here, all those terms are divisible by 3. So we need to simplify, divide them all by 3, then you get 1, 1, and 2. So I have 1 plus or minus 1 times the square root of 21 is the square root of 21 divided by 2. I don't break this up into two different problems. I don't 1 plus square root of 21 divided by 2 and 1 minus square root of 21 divided by 2 because you can't simplify it any further. So therefore, this is your final answer and as far as you can simplify. All right, moving on to our last example. Sorry, I put example down there. I don't want that one. Last example. Yeah. We have to get all of our terms on one side. I have 10x, so I'm subtracting 5x, so I have positive 5x left. Then I have A, B, and C. So x equals the opposite of B, so it's negative 5, plus or minus I squared, B squared minus 4 times A times C, all divided by 2 times A. So let's simplify this. Well, underneath the radical, we have 25. Some of you guys can do this in your head. If not, just continue to do it in the calculator. 25 minus 80. We'll do that next.